Over the recent weeks, we're seeing grass supply dropping significantly on farm, with some farms being at risk of dropping below the 600 kgs of dry matter per hectare before the second rotation or before we hit magic day. So magic day is when grass growth matches herd demand. And this typically occurs around the first week of April to mid-April, depending on your farm type um, and weather conditions. And this is combination is due to a combination of lower opening average farm covers, cows getting out earlier to graze and grazing more aggressively, leading to a greater area being grazed than the targets set out in the spring rotation planners. So the target is to so the target on drier farms is to graze 30% by the first week of March and 60% by mid-March or around Paddy's Day. However, majority of farms have exceeded these targets and have grazed um, up to 60 or greater percent of their uh, grazing platform. So it's important for farms to assess um, how much grass is left on the grazing platform and stretch this out from now until um, when they typically hit magic day. So in order to hold your average farm cover it's important to walk your farm weekly to assess your average farm cover and your growth rates and then match your herd demand to those growth rates. For example if you're growing 12 kgs of dry matter per day and you're stocked at two and a half livestock units per hectare uh, your herd demand is going to be 25 kgs of dry matter with a difference of 14 kgs of dry matter. So this means um, in order to match the grass growth rates you can only allocate around 5 kgs of dry matter per cow per day. So the gap needs to be filled with high quality uh, silage or, or any forage available on farm and concentrates to ensure uh, the cow's requirements are met, um, bondage score is maintained and uh, fertility performance will not be impacted. However, if, you're, if you don't measure grass, you can still walk your farm, assess how much area you've left to graze and budget this out then until, from now until uh, when you typically hit magic day. So for example, if you have a 100 hectare farm, 60% grazed this leaves 40 hectares to graze now until let's say the first or second week of April so allocating one hectare per day um, as your grazing area. When restricting grass it's important to know your intake potential of your cow and her requirements to ensure performance is maintained particularly when we're going into peak lactation and into the breeding season to maintain that bond addition score also. So typically a cow will eat between 11 to 13 kgs of dry matter um, after she calves and this increases then up to a kgs of dry matter on a weekly basis. So for those cows that have calved in January and early February will be reaching uh, peak intakes come uh, mid-March and onwards of around 18 to 22 kgs of dry matter, depending on your cow type. So for example, for a cow that peaks at 18 kgs of dry matter, so a simple diet that to stretch out grass and silage um, from now until April would be allocating six kgs of dry matter of grass, six kgs of dry matter silage, and six kgs of concentrates. However, if you're tight on both grass and silage and need to supplement more than six to eight kgs of concentrates, ensure to have a midday feed or a buffer feed to include that extra concentrates. And this is to maintain rumen function and reduce the risk of acidosis. If you're tight on silage, ensure there's a, an alternative source of fiber, whether that's uh, hay or straw, and this, this helps to also keep the rumen friction going. So in summary, it's important to hold that average farm cover above 600 kgs of dry matter per hectare by matching your herds and man to grass growth. If you haven't done so recently, walk your farm and assess how much grass is available or area is left to graze and budget this out from now until you typically hit magic day. 
it's also important that you meet your herd's requirement by feeding um, concentrates or high quality buffer feed. If you need any more advice or assistance, please contact your local advisor or Tierland representative. Thank you.